It's Sunday morning, so that means time for Taiko practice. We start at 9 a.m., so I gotta get going. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. A lot of people are watching my Instagram stories and seeing me practice Taiko, and they're asking about it, so I thought I would make a little video explaining about Taiko. Taiko or Wadaiko is the art of Japanese drumming. It's a really ancient art form, so no one actually really knows the origins. So obviously the history of Taiko in Japan is really long and complicated, but we're not gonna get into that today. Short version, Taiko has been used from everything from festivals to warfare to theater. What I do is called Kumi Daiko, which is an ensemble or group style drumming and is usually performance based. This style uh, probably started in Japan around the 1950s. Taiko in the US has a whole other history, obviously not as long or crazy as Japan because it has not been around in the States as long, but we're also not gonna get into that today because this is sort of just like a crash course Taiko video since people are asking a little about it and also what I was even doing on Sunday mornings. If you want to learn more in depth about Taiko, about learning Taiko, let me know in the comments and I can give you more places to find information or I can maybe even do a series in the future. As far as me playing Taiko, I started playing Taiko 13 years ago. I did take a bit of a long break between then and now, but it's really nice to play again. I used to play Jodaiko, which is a collegiate group at UC Irvine, and now at Asano, the people that I'm playing with are all previous members of Jodaiko. So my group and I play at Asano Taiko US. Asano is a 400 year old family run, still family run, uh, Taiko Corporation, that is probably one of the biggest in the whole Taiko world. They make drums, they make equipment, they have performance groups, they teach classes, the whole shebang. They made a US branch in LA, specifically in Torrance, so that is actually where we go. At the LA facility, they do teach workshops, have classes, have performance groups, and you could buy absolutely anything Taiko related that you need. I'm gonna include all of their links in the description. So I will be showing you a little bit more about Taiko, a little bit of the Asano facility, and also just sort of a typical Sunday practice. Let's go. Hey. Hi. Good morning. It's so bright, it's so bright. This is too much. We got to Asano. This is our practice room that we use every time they have several different rooms in this facility. <laughs> this is what we do during taiko practice. <laughs> Please save me. Are you okay? From this punishment. What happened? Nothing, I just feel terrible. Did you drink too much? Yes. Nice. Way, way too much. I'm stretching actually. Yeah, mm hmm. That's what, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm stretching. Yeah, Rob, just lay there. Don't help me. That's cool. Whatever. <laughs> You're welcome. You're very welcome. Now, Christine. This is Christine. She's gonna teach us about the drums. <laughs> this is called bachi. Can you say bachi? Bachi. It's a drumstick. <laughs> this is a chudaiko. Can you say chudaiko? Chudaiko. Good job. Chudaiko in taiko is the medium sized drum. That's this one. It and those. Uh, and those. Even the small baby ones. Mm. It makes this sound. What about the cause? 
You can also make this sound. <laughs> this is the Shime Daiko. Can you say Shime Daiko? Shime Daiko. It is the smallest drum in a Taiko ensemble. It uses smaller bachi. See the difference? The Shime Daiko sounds like this. <clears throat> this is the Okero. Can you say Okero? Okero. Okay! <laughs> this is a roped drum. Sometimes the Shime Daiko can be roped too. This one's not. This one's not. That's, that's a bolt because it has bolts. But this is roped. And this is the Okero Daiko. And this is what it sounds like. Sometimes you can wear it. <laughs> that sounds so weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you carry you, it. You can carry it. It's got, uh, you have straps that tie onto these, and then you wear it like slung across your body. Side slung. Slide sideways, and yep. you play like this. It's pretty cool. Cool. You are useless. Mm -hmm. Ow. You wanna show off the Odaiko? Yeah, I'll show off the Odaiko. Because I guess the strongest player can play. <laughs> Gucci? Gucci. Fit. Oh, what? I said Prada. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Odaiko. Can you say Odaiko? Odaiko. The Odaiko is the biggest drum in the Taiko ensemble, as you can see. The biggest one and it uses the biggest bachi. Can you guess which one is the Odaiko bachi? Rob. These ones. No, you're Rob. <laughs> These ones. <laughs> and it sounds like this. Oh. Wow. This is a Kane. <laughs> Japanese right. gong. Oh, hi, Jen. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. No, don't worry about it. You okay. do your thing. People. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's good morning. Welcome, everyone, like to this. our recycle firework. Um, my name is Jen. I'm one of the instructors and coaches here. And today, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the So, you can play some on beta, which are down stands, or naname, which are slant stands. But I think we're going to be playing on beta style today. we write out what to play when we're learning something new. Christine is teaching today.
I'm enjoying this tour. I'm joining this tour. You could come. I got shut out, but they teach workshops, so come take them. Jen's teaching today. She's really nice and really good. So, yeah. Apparently, there's a lot of people here for today. Apparently, you can come and learn about Asano through some tour and workshops. So, click the link that's going to be in my description for more information. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Well, that about wraps it up for the crash course in Tycho. I hope you learned a little bit more. If you want to see more about Tycho, let me know in the comments. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it or if you like Tycho, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for joining in, and I will see you in the next video. Matane!